This is happening, Brad. It's really happening. I gotta set up the, the microphone here. Let's turn the mic on. This is ambient mic right now. We got the fire ready to go here. We got you with starter in hand. Okay, mic check one, two. Check yeah. one, two, three. Check, check. Got check. a good thing going here, man. Got a good this thing is, going here. Okay, can you light that? Do you think is that enough fluid still well, on let's there? Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> there's what's called. There's what. Yeah, we should have had that. Uh, there's what's called ev evaporation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. That really is too funny. All right, let's just get into this right now. That's a, that's right. how we're starting this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's already putting off some heat. All right. Uh, you know, tonight uh, we're just out here. Uh, <laughs> this is too funny. Uh, you know, made us a little fire just goofing off, and uh, I, uh, at one time uh, in some videos, I actually had my axe, I was out doing some chopping, and I showed a little bit about, you know, sharp, and I talk about one side that's all silver, that's the sharp side, and I was just playing, you know. Um, the other side uh, is, is kind of sharp, it actually bites, but it's not as sharp as this side is, and the reason for that is because if you have uh, dead, dry limbs and dry wood, a really sharp side is apt to get nicked and become duller. Um, for splitting wood and uh, chopping on really dry, dead wood, you want something that's a, a little thicker and tougher, more durable. So anyway, I sharpened, uh, we'll get it here in, in the light and let it shine there. I sharpened that side, went home, reprofiled it, thinned it out a little bit, drew the edge back, made a longer bevel out of it, made it sharper, and... Uh, so anyway, I was kind of surprised at the uh, sharpness that I acquired on that axe. Um, you know, a piece of, of uh, paper here. For those of you that are in the Denver area, it's a page out of the magazine, the Denver Magazine. I like those because they cut up well. So let me see if I can get a little situated here. Get my three and a half pound double bedded axe. Oop. And show you. You know, if you can cut like that with a three and a half pound axe, and let's yeah, get that one all the way off of there. All right, before the paper uh, actually turns away from me there. So let's make this just a little bit stiffer so that I can actually make the axe go on down through there. Okay, if you can go out there and tease that along that far out. That's pretty darn sharp. So I reprofiled it, I made it thinner, I drew the cutting edge back further. Uh, it's not as thick as this side is. So that's the ax um, that I've been working on. And who knows if I have some downtime, I may uh, reprofile it again. I'll come back a little ways, I'll thin it a little more, I'll polish it a little bit more, and I'll actually make it sharper and I'll make it smoother so that it goes deeper into the wood with every cut. All right, so that's the ax. And then uh, also, a little while ago I had uh, I went down to Las Vegas and I picked up a knife that was made out of a file. And um, so I, I worked on it a little bit too. And uh, thinned it down just a little bit more, sharpened it a little bit more, used my uh, round sharpener, the uh, poker chip, and uh, just kept working on the blade, thinning it out, polishing the blade. And um, so this is kind of what we have now with it. Okay, that's actually quite sharp right out to the tip and you can turn it and go along there like that. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over because it's a two-sided knife, two-sided bevel, two-sided cutting edge and go along there like that. It is thin paper so you got to be just a little bit careful how you get into the paper or you'll bend it. Part of the reason I use really thin paper, uh, it's so flimsy and it, it, it's not tough. You can't, you can't manhandle it, you can't push it, you can't do anything that the paper doesn't want done to it. So if, if you're not careful, you'll bend the paper or something. And that's why I use such thin paper. You, you can't fake it. The knife's got to be sharp. Or it'll tear it or push it out of the way. Okay. So that's the knife that was in the video that I went down to Las Vegas and picked up. I believe the kid's name was Jose. I don't want to say it wrong. 
<laughs> might be in trouble there. Um, and he's down in Mexico. He's coming back, I guess, with a machete that he's going to give me. So I'm going to have to fly to Vegas again to do another show. This is a knife that, that's just like the uh, freebies that we get. Well, the other day I'm sitting there and I take my little work sharp sander and I start looking at it and I look at the way it was made and I don't like it. So I think, well, okay, I'm going to take my, my work sharp sander and I'm going to reprofile this blade and then I'm going to go after it with my uh, sharpeners. And then I actually took a, a block of wood, put some sandpaper on it. And then I have a particular rock that's like the one that I used here. Uh, that I actually ground the side down and if, and if it was light enough and you could actually see now how incredibly smooth and slick and shiny and uniform the uh, blade is you know you'd see that it, it's really actually in quite good shape so this knife didn't even begin to cut and now it cuts like this People say push test, well get it started and then just slide it right through the paper. Um, if you can actually slice off paper like that, and I'm going to go in a circle here, take a piece of paper yourself and take your champion and start making a circle. It's very, very hard to make a circle out of a piece of paper that won't slice. Okay, I'm going to quit. If you can actually make it pretty round, make a circle that fast. Because, see, if a knife isn't sharp, you got to sew on it. If you sew on it, you can't make a circle like that. It just doesn't work. So, now, let's just keep going here. My lovely assistant with the camera is going to be picking up the papers, because I'm going to have to get going. All right, it's obviously getting smaller and smaller. It cuts so easy. That knife is just incredibly sharp. So you know what? Do a little contest. Write in why, after you see this and say, I want that knife. This is why I want it or something. Um, and we'll take the knife that I worked on and somebody's going to get that knife and then they can check it on the paper and they can look at it. And if you would, please, do a good that's enough. Do a good review, make a video or something. This is Brad SharpensBest.com. You know, I'm doing another backyard goofy video. You take care. See you later.